Welcome back to Control. In the last episode, we got the ability to levitate. Next thing we're supposed to do for the main mission is go find the uh, Prime Candidate program. But there is about like a dozen or two things that we can do before that. Side quests and also just areas that I was not able to explore before that I now can because I can do this. First thing I want to do though, um, let's go check on Dr. Underhill's progress. Because that will also affect where I can go. I love that I can do this in the air. That is so cool. It looks so cool. It feels so cool. Oh, look at this big boy. Okay, how did I get to Dr. Underhill's place? Again, I know it's a big hole in the ground, but where was the hole? Over here. Once <laughs> Bleach did the trick. Has Underhill tried Bleach? I finished synthesizing the samples. Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. So it gets rid of that appetizing smell, huh? Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened. About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. 
Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. So now we're protected from the mold. Investigate the pit. No need to hurry back. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. Here we go. I can get in there. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, known 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this uh, it smells delicious. Where I have to go? Uh, probably not. <laughs> balloon supplement. They get well balloon. We saw that. The item was used in the children's ward. Uh oh, of a local hospital, uh, and somewhere witnesses do not recall where the balloon came from. Therapy dogs, part of a program called something meant to comfort the sick children, were noticeably attracted to the item. They reportedly jumped at the item, licking it when they could. The children claimed the dogs began walking through the halls of the hospital at night, howling in a low pitch. One child described the sound as singing. A few days later, the dogs were all discovered dead, a dark substance leaking from there. The hospital staff called local authorities who called the CDC. Bureau agents intercepted this call and arrived at the scene within something hours. The item was taken for evaluation along with the remains of the dogs. <laughs> Poor dogs. See, I knew something as innocuous as a get well balloon would do something horribly evil. We're getting some really good modifications, high level ones. Energy recovery speed plus 35%. God, that's good. What is it better than what I have? No. What's this one again? Health plus 28%. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still going to keep that. What about weapons, though? Damage against enemy armor, plus 136%. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's better than this one. Blast radius increase. It's only at level 2, the blast radius increase. Hmm. 
Yeah, I want to keep the blast radius increase. Better damage against armor. We've got the headshot damage and the... Or just the damage and then the headshot damage. I'm going to stick with those. God. Where's our go? The Just like, I don't know what happens when I grab them when they're on low health, rip off their heads or something? Something from their heads rips off. Ammo refund? What is that? Exclusive to spin, shatter, grip. I don't use any of those. <laughs> but uh, what does it do? Ammo refund chance on hit 18%. So you get your... It says ammo, but I mean... I guess it means energy. You get your energy back. Or... No, technically it doesn't use energy. It uses a separate bar. That is basically another energy bar. You get your last shot back. 18% chance of that. It's pretty good. Not good enough for me to want to use those weapons that I don't really like, though. something too slowly oops you know I'm sorry I actually need your health Efficiency. Mm, Sixteen percent, but what I have right now is twenty three percent. Okay, that just loops around. Hitting, what's stopping me? What? I guess that's supposed to be a desk or something with papers on it, but the desk is invisible. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, uh, whatever. Still in the fresh mold. I'll be straight up eating the vegetables now, because why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, Ollie, what'd you find now? That's 
probably where I'm supposed to go, so I think this over here might be something special. What was that? Got a mod that uh, said energy renewal is a weapon mod. Energy gain from headshots, 31%. Huh. But that's not the same as the ammo energy. I'll just call it ammo. Not the same as the ammo, so it's not going to allow you to shoot longer, just do other stuff. Um, I don't think I want that. Oh, no! Fuck! Shit, there was something there. Is that the source? It's... kind of pretty. Well... That was a bad idea. so long. It's a pretty long walk from the last control point all the way back to here. Or went all the way back to Central Research. So we really don't want to die. This time though, let's find that special place. There it is. Seize Accelerator and Shatter Projectile Boost. Seize Accelerator. Ah, I don't want Seize Accelerator. don't really care for Seize. Is that the source? The ground. Shit. Whew. I weird shit in this place. God, I almost died. I don't know what happened. Like I looked at the health bar at near the beginning of the fight, and my shots were doing a decent amount of damage, but it was a big health bar. And then I checked it later, and it was suddenly way, way lower, as if something happened that took off a huge chunk of their health, and I don't know what it was. I'm glad for it, though, because if, if that fight went on for another 30 seconds, I, I'd be dead. Is the ground safe now? Yeah. Is this stuff safe? Yeah. God, I just love the animations in this game.
upgrade spin. Don't want to. Oh, it's a tape. So dark, can't even see it. Oh, so good. Oh, need more. Um, Something I'm wondering, these upgrades, is this all of the upgrades I could possibly get for all of my weapons? Or do I have to like, use one of these to make room? Like have I really upgraded everything else? Can I tell if it's upgraded? Level 2, level 2. Shatter, spin. Yeah, just shatter and spin. Okay. Do I have to level everything up to level two and then I can start to get level three, perhaps? I don't know. Anyway. Back to Underhill. Has Underhill You've returned, I see. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really, it's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Four ability points. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Sorry, I was just looking at the quest for old friends. Find the six pouches worn by Arisha's old squad mates. And I just saw the defeat his corrupted guy. I, I know guy is a, a name, but I just can't help but see it as, yeah, defeat the, defeat the guy. Kill the dude. These feel kind of like just generic fetch quests, but uh, as long as I only have to do it once, it's fine. As long as it's not an infinite thing, like they're everywhere. Come back for more quests. As long as it's not like that, it's fine. Parapsychology, Ritual Division, Central Research. So it's all in the same area of research. There's supposed to be some in Central Research, and that's where... Well, that's right above us. So let's check for them. Enemies are probably going to spawn as well. They actually spawn on my way in, I just ignored them. What 
What am I? What am I lifting up? Because nothing's being thrown. Get out of here. My music hasn't stopped. I know there's at least one more. Yeah, well, now it stopped. Threshold utility. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by... We never know what new discoveries it'll provide to the Bureau, but we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utilitarian possibilities. The quarry brought Blackrock, one of our most, most invaluable discoveries. But if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. There are very distinct now, these are very distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Oh, I can't quite reach. God, I really gotta look at every environment a different way than I did before now that I can levitate. So many things are now possible. Should I check the bathrooms for the mold hosts, perhaps? Could they be in the shelter? That's the thing we fought as like a boss before. God, this thing's terrifying. Health, 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 I need health. Wait, we're to get the mold hosts in the ritual division. We can't even enter the ritual division. Or wait, no, 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 no. We can can I think we just can't enter it from this way. Oh, hey. People are still working in here. Intentionally this bad. Maybe he's trying to test our code breaking skills. Where'd my levitate ability go? You have a 
spare time. Like, what, what can I do it here? Why? I want to see where Black Rock prisons lie on the most scale of hardness. I'd be curious about that too. How hard is it? Oh, now I can do it. You can only do it in places considered combat zones where you have your gun out and can shoot. Okay. Have I ever been over there? I don't think so. seemed either doubtful about what they had done, if they, if they had done the right thing, or... No, actually, I think that's mainly it. If they had done the right thing. Is there some negative effect of making a single central HRA? Do they regret doing it for some reason? Does it do something bad? Or do they just kind of regret, or are they worried about using it for themselves and whether they're just being a selfish piece of shit? Don't know, but whatever it is, they are there at the central HRA. <laughs> Darling, Underhill Disagreement. Dear Dr. Darling, I feel I must inform you of the very questionable documentation I am seeing from Underhill's desk. She clearly has no concept of what the mold is. She claims there are microorganisms responsible for constructing the mold. Ridiculous. It's a rapidly growing fungus, not dissimilar to kudzu. She's fabricating complexity to justify her absurd budget demands. Speaking of which, I find it interesting that an old friend of yours gets her budget approved with no questions asked. I wonder if the Operations Oversight Committee would be interested to learn of that. Yours in estimation, Dr. Abraham Lewis. Where does that lead? And also, where the heck are the mold hosts in Central Research? Central Research isn't that big. Have we not gone to the highest? Oh, hey! 
Found him. <laughs> ah, there's three, I think, judging by that progress bar. I should probably go over there. I don't know if I've ever been there either. Uh, I can get there from up there. But I can do that anytime. I want to follow this first. Okay, so now I'm immune to this stuff. I think this stuff would hurt me before. Hammer procedures. Oh, we saw that also. Note, per archival mandate 8... Uh, 8A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. Containment procedure. No method for suppressing the item's thaumaturgical effect is yet known. To prevent infection, wear proper safety gloves when handling. The item is a wooden mallet from a High Striker Carnival game. A long wooden handle extends from the head. The item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Hidden location. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit. five health boost from 28% more health to 36. Shield energy cost. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with what I got. Any weapon stuff? Some level four. Spin grouping. Shatter. Straight up damage boost. Yeah, just a straight up damage boost of 53%. Oh, this is a damage boost of 51%, so that's actually better. You know what? Let's just put the other damage boost here. 50% plus 53%. 51 plus 53, to be exact. I think that's better, right? Headshots only count for headshots. These count for everything. That's double damage right there, in total. Yeah, I think I might want to change the ones on charge. Blast radius is important, although I really want a higher level version of that. Damage after a kill. Headshot damage. I mean, that's irrelevant. I just don't have any good ones for this. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Can I land on... Shit. What did I shoot? That made all these feathers come out.
been up there. Ah. Okay, I think I can get up there if I do this properly. I need to start from here, I think. Or maybe even over here. Whatever the highest surface is is where you need to start from. enough no <laughs> hmm I might be able to land in the tree <gasps> wow no mm. oh just enough height out here oh there's a oh man oh man there's so many special levels to be reached can hold on levitate's an ability can that be leveled up maybe that's what i'm missing maybe levitate can be leveled up uh, oh. let's go check that's levitate. Levitation duration. Mm. Duration's not really the interesting part. That's not going to really allow me to get anywhere that I couldn't before. Although it will be good for combat and some other stuff. It's levitation height that I wanted to increase. But what's this? Press C while levitating to slam into the ground and damage nearby enemies. Okay, that's cool. Ground slam, more damage, more damage. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds super cool. Hmm. Got four points. It's not enough to get both of these. Don't care about melee, still. Some more launch damage would be good. And I'll save my last point. I don't know. Maybe I'll get plus 10% shield strength. It's not that much. It's not that good, but the shield was useful during that fight with the host, and it's you know, the first level of these things only cost one point. Now, what's going on here? Is there something new? Oh, is this to upgrade them to level 3? The final mod slot increased base weapon damage. Yeah, so for Pierce, I'm, I'm only missing one remote thought. I'm really close to getting this. So I'm going to want that and charge. Charge. They both take an, um, an untapped potential, of which I only have one. I think that's the rarest thing on the list of materials that you need. Do I have any new outfits? No. I'm starting to think this is something that just doesn't apply to me. Maybe it's like a pre-order bonus kind of thing? I don't know. But I feel like if they meant it to be a thing for me, then I would have gotten new clothes by now, because I'm more than halfway through the game. So, from here, 